Okay, I want to introduce this video, a screencast o -matic. at screencastomatic.com. It's a free program. You can make your own videos. And I'm making a video on eSword. eSword is the best free Bible program you can get. Uh, basically, I want to run over a couple of these features. Another thing is when you make a video, you want to write up an outline. My intro, I want to go to download from site. Uh, really, the best way, we'll go over this a little bit more in detail. This will get me to the download site. You want to go to esword.net slash downloads. Just go to esword.net. You don't want to download esword from one of those other sites because they'll attach a whole bunch of junk to it. This will give you a clean copy. And we're going to start going over some features. It'll download. You've got uh, this little download tab up over here. You can click on either one of these. It'll pop up with a panel. It'll show you what you can download. Got it hidden back over here. Okay, so you can download Bibles. You can go over those Bible versions yourself. The black ones are already downloaded. The blue ones, they have it in different languages. They have free uh, Latin, Norwegian. You can go through all those yourself. They have commentaries that you can download. I'll show you the commentaries later. You have a couple of dictionaries. You want to get the Strong's Bible Dictionary and and uh, maybe the King James Concordance. They've got devotions. They got graphics. They got reference books. You can take a look at the reference books that they've got. Uh, I don't know if you know if they interest you. Download them. Take a look at it. Okay, I want a quick look at the Bible versions. Uh, King James, you get a standard. King James Plus, this will get you uh, the Strong's definitions on there. Once we click on one of these words, we can go to the Dictionaries tab on the left, and then you can copy this. You can paste it in the word processor, or paste it in your journal notes. Typically, journal notes would uh, be the place to put it and then you can go back in. Uh, some good modern English versions are the King James 2000, King James version 21, uh, the NET, but the NET doesn't link to the NET commentaries. I like the NLT. And this parallel version, you can, you can set up, you can pull down, you can put in whatever Bible version you want. And uh, it'll it'll give you the uh, comparison parallel between those. I know some people use it. I I don't use that feature though. Uh, back to the editors. Okay, run through the pull downs is the next thing I want to do. Uh, file really doesn't do anything. Bible, you can look those in your look at those yourselves. You got to pull down on the commentaries. I usually don't use that. I don't really use the pull down on the dictionary. The Bible reading, you can use uh, tools on Bible reading, scripture memory, some options it has. It has some options. The only one I use on here is the font. When you click on the font here, ah, this takes a little while uh, to open up, or it'll, it'll open a pop up. And you can change the font here, whatever you want. Uh, tool tip font size. So this gives you some options. You can choose the type of font you want and, and, and everything. See, I made mine a little bit bigger, uh, which is 14, so you can see it a little bit better. You can go to the three pane, get out an extra pane right over here to view something else. If you wanted to see your dictionary down there, you can go to a Bible full page, you can go to your commentaries full page, 
dictionary. We're not in the dictionary now. We're also going to look at your editor full page. I'm going to stick to the three pane now. Uh, we've got two different back buttons on here, and this is what confuses people. You know, let's say we want to go to Mark 13. We're in Genesis 17. We want to go to Mark 13. We can do write a little shortcut up here. There's a pull down. Write the abbreviation for the book and the chapter you want to go to. And then go, oh, okay, I want to go back to, what is I in? Genesis 17. Okay. So these little buttons will get you back and forth between previous reference and the next reference. This one right here, you can see previous chapter, you can hit F5 or you can hit go back and in the Bible. It's kind of like in the page in the Bible. Uh, we hit the shortcut window. You can go to uh, the abbreviation. We'll go to Psalm 118. I guess Psalm 18. It'll get you through there pretty quick. You can pull it, just hover over this little tab and it'll have all your Bible books in order and the chapters. You can click on there. It'll take you right to it. Uh, we've got a search window here. You can search on here. And we're just going to do a search. We're going to just enter the word search. And we're going to search in the NLT. You can choose your different Bibles here. I always use the first one. Is, is search for all the words in here. And typically I'll click on here. And this will be a partial match. So you'll search search searches searched it'll it'll give them all that if there's any such word okay search searched see how that little the little check mark in there will get you a couple more words you can go all the way down in the end it'll give you tell you what books they're in this is some more books than i thought 121 verses 127 matches if you click this will be a link it'll take you right to that chapter. So the search is really great feature. Okay, bookmarks. These little scrolls are bookmarks. And, and, and I already bookmarked a couple of them. You know, you're going to love this thing so much, you're going to run out of bookmarks. This last one I use to keep track, you know, this will show me I'm reading through the Bible and this is the next chapter I got to go through. You set a bookmark by right clicking when you're in this chapter. Right click it and it'll bookmark that chapter. Okay, now you notice all of these texts I got are highlighted. How do you highlight? Well, uh, let me. If you double click on a word, you go up here, the little paint thing, you can pull this through, you can pick a color. Or if you click that little pellet thing again, we'll give you more colors. These you can set up as custom colors you can control over here. So that's how highlighting it. You, you can actually select, you can highlight, and you can underline. I'll give you a, a choice of underline. So that's how I underline, that's how I highlight. Uh, just a real short explanation on these. These are set up for a contextual study. These are keywords. Uh, I use different colors to uh, covenant, guarantee, said, uh, called, confirmed, covenant. These are all words that have to do with a conversation or talking. Uh, yellow or, or this aqua color is descendants, father, something to do with re relationship. And then I use different colors. You can kind of set up your own and uh, maybe you will have a another class on that. Commentaries. There's little tabs down here. One is editors. We're in editors right now. We're going to go over to commentaries and take a look. Here's all of the commentaries. There. Remember this little download? Okay, I downloaded these commentaries. The only one I really use is the TSK, which is the Treasury of Scriptural Knowledge. This is like a chain reference. So whatever verse you click on, It'll show you all of this text, and, and you can hover over it, and it'll 
give you the, the text over here and if you go, oh, that's the one I'm looking for. Hey, Luke, okay, I wanna and click on it and, and, and it'll take you right to it. So this, this program is really nice. Uh, these different programs we're going to go uh, over with. You see some some Acts of the Apostles and some other stuff, and and uh, this is this is really pretty cool. And I've got uh, about four minutes to go through it. What I'm going to do is flip over here to Mark 13. I've already done this. See this little blue thing? It says uh, Great Controversy. Now you've got your Bible over here. And you've got your great controversy over here, which is really cool. Now, this sets up, and it'll take you right to the Bible references from the great controversy. But you notice, okay, this changed. So to get back, we want to go back to our previous, you know, we are in Mark. This will get us back to our commentary on Mark, so we can get back to it. It's, it's not the best system in the world, but oh, we've got a comment here on Desire of Ages. So we can look at the at the commentary of Desire of Ages. It, it has the abbreviation for the book and the page number. Just like the Ellen White stuff does. If you want uh, Ellen White devotionals, I don't use that. But if you want, you can you know click to these other commentaries too. I thought this is really neat. Now we've got about three minutes left. So you can let me show you where to get these. Uh, this page on here, I set up on my website. Don't forget to hit the like. Uh, I call it the greatest collection of free online Bible study material. And and it explains on, on how really to, to load up this stuff. Because you can put your own commentaries in eSword and, and offer as a free upload. Uh, I've hit a couple of these called Sharpening the Sword is the best one. So remember that. Sharpening, I'll add these links to, to, the, to the YouTube too. But you can go through here and, and, and you can download uh, Conflict of Ages series, commentaries. Uh, they offer all of these different modules that you can install in here. There's BibleSupport.com that has commentaries and everything that, that are all set up for eSword. So you can go back and look at those. And then I've got two minutes left. I want to go back and explain the editors. This editor is sort of your journal notes. This is your everyday notes. Okay. Now you can go to your study notes. Your study notes will are are, are I don't, I don't have any study notes in any of your verses, but this is, you can, you can, if you want to put in your own reference for Mark 13, 5, you can put it in here, hit the save, it'll save it. Uh, the only thing is, is it's a little difficult. And then we've got topic notes. Topic notes, you can write your own topic, you can pick up, I, I wrote off these, uh, Bible study, fall of Jerusalem, Jesus in heaven, uh, the message we're supposed to be preaching. You can go down and, and, and add a new topic. Uh, so this is this is really pretty nice because you can uh, highlight and 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 paste in uh, different different. Uh, uh, you see, this one just says hundred. This 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 is every single message, a collection of every single message mentioned in the New Testament. Now I only have a few seconds left. For our editors, there's this little thing on the bottom. We can actually add in the eSword. This is a book I wrote. And let me go over to the commentary. Here's a book that I wrote. And it actually, oh, that isn't the one. Uh, I want to go over to editors. And you can actually put that in the eSword. And you can leave me a note if you want to get more information on that. But with all of this information and all of this, all of this power that, 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 that we have at our disposal, there's no reason why we can't get this word out. So, hey, time to get the word. Download eSword. Uh, look over the video again.
practice on it and 